Now, a third thing we can think about, we have mi major pentatonic and we have minor pentatonic. Now, the idea of mixing some of them. So the first thing that I want to think about um, is we talked a lot about the third. So what I'm going to take is my D minor pentatonic scale and add in a natural third. So I'm going to just first thing I'm going to do is replace my flat third with a natural third. So D minor pentatonic is D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D, F. I'm just going to play F sharp instead of F. So I'm going to get D, F sharp, G, A, C, D, F sharp, G, A, C, D, F sharp. That is a really cool sound. Overall, the chord progression we have is kind of like a D7 sound. That's why it's mixed Lydian. But if we look at this, we have a D major chord. Our next chord is C. If I put in a C to my D major chord, I get D7. So with this arpeggio, or this scale, D dominant pentatonic scale, gives us a D7 Oop. arpeggio right in but um, if we hear that sound, here it's really kind of bright and cool. So if we're on a track, let's hear that scale. hear Jeff Beck play this kind of sound a lot. Um, uh, lead boots, some stuff like that from the earlier Jeff Beck records. It's a great sound, so it, but it sounds to me very different than minor pentatonic, very different than major pentatonic, because we're highlighting the overall sound of this chord progression, which is mixolydian, which is this sort of bluesy, but we're not thinking of a mixolydian scale. We are playing one, nod, nod, wink, wink, but we're not thinking about it as its own mode. Because for me, like I said, as a guitar player, I just always kind of lean towards these bluesy ideas. It's just what sounds best to me. Now, one more thing we talk about here before we talk about the actual mode is I can play a minor pentatonic scale and I could add in my flat three and my natural three. So D minor pentatonic is D, F, right? G, A, C. And we add in an F sharp for the dominant pentatonic. But I can add in both now. Okay, now the trick here is I'm always going to go flat three, natural three. So my scale will be ascending, it's easy. I'm going to play D, F, F sharp, G. Sorry, D. You get that right? D, F, F sharp, G, A, C, D, F, F sharp, G. So it's like this little chromatic thing. So that's pretty simple ascending. Now, but descending, I want to go... F, sharp, F to F sharp, so it's a little different. Okay, and the reason why is because that resolution, we want to pull from that flat three, tweaking that third, up to the natural three. So once again... Let's hear that on the track. Let me play it up. rock and roll, right? So what was that? It was a D minor pentatonic scale with an added natural third. Boom. Now, <laughs> one more thing. We can play the blues scale, right? You know, so we can add in our flat five. To me, as a guitar player, pentatonic scale, blues scale, same thing. Kind of synonymous. I don't really differentiate the between the two. Technically, there is a difference. You're adding in a flat five. So let's just do that for fun. Mm. So we know that sound. 
Now, if we add in our natural third to that, we get this kind of... That's pretty cool. So how do, we, how do we work through this one bit at a time? Watch. I'm going to play flat three naturals here. May resolve to my D. How about... Or... There is a cool blues lick, so I'm going to play... Just go right down. There's my A, my blue note, down a scale to G, now the F to F sharp. So get that lick. Now I'm going to play these minor pentatonics and natural third with the blue note added in. So let's hear that on the track. down a scale. All right, so we're starting to see that uh, there's a number of options, but if we just break them down into these little ideas first, ultimately I'm starting to mix major and minor pentatonic in the blues scale. But if I think about doing all that at once, it's, it's never going to really work. 